Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to talk about another big brand name, the Garmin Forerunner 55. This one is a sport watch, not a smart watch, but therefore it's doing an excellent job in keeping track of all of your workout and health data. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. But first, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more smartwatch videos. And also, don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified whenever I upload new videos. So the Garmin Forerunner 55 is one of the premier sport watches you can get right now. It is available in four different colors, black, white, turquoise and dark gray. It is really not that chunky at all and it's a good fit for women and men since its diameters are only 42 by 42 by 11 and millimeters. You also have a 1.04 inch display with a resolution of 204 by 204 pixels, which doesn't sound a lot and in fact it is not a lot, but if you're looking for a smartwatch with a bunch of fancy features, you should get a real smartwatch. By the way, this watch is water resistant up to 5 ATM, only weighs in at 37 grams and you have a 20 millimeter soft silicon strap with a quick release feature. Overall, you will find five different buttons on your watch, three on the left and two on the right. The upper left one is the light button, with that one you can turn on and off the light. The lower one is for scrolling down or if you give it a longer press it will take you to your music player. And the middle one is for scrolling up or if you give it a longer press it will take you to your app menu. As for the two buttons on the right, the lower one takes you only to the previous page and the upper one is a select button or it takes you to your workouts. Which brings us to the next big point, the workouts. If I counted right, you get 18 different sport modes, which is in my opinion more than enough. It covers everything from swimming to HIIT trainings, yoga, running and cycling. Before you start any of your workouts, you can customize your workout settings. Over here, you can go to the data screens and change what data should be displayed while you're working out. For example, the time, distance or pace. And you can also change the layouts of these data fields. As for next, you can set some alerts like if you hit a certain distance or heart rate, you can tell the watch to auto pause whenever you're doing a break or stopping at a traffic light. Under training, you can see your suggested workout for the day or do some interval training. Okay, after the workout, you get a small summary of all the stats that have been tracked during your workout. As for the GPS, I think it's pretty accurate. It may take a while until it finds a GPS signal, but to be honest, I sometimes started the workout early without waiting for the GPS signal and it still tracked the whole workout route. Now, one thing to mention is that it's definitely working better outside of the city but if you're in the city, it just tells you sometimes that you're on the wrong street side or you're walking in houses, but I don't think that's such a big problem. Now let's see what this watch has to offer. If you scroll up and down, you get to your different apps. So the first one is your last workout. After that, we have our heart rate for the last four hours. And if we scroll down over here, we see our average heart rate for the last seven days in a little graph. Next up, we got the body battery, our total steps for the last 12 hours, for the last week and the weekly travel distance. We also receive all kinds of notifications like WhatsApp, Instagram, weather updates and all kinds of shenanigans. If we click on one of these messages, we get to see the whole message, but keep in mind that we cannot reply to any of these messages. For that, we will still need our smartphone. We will also get the weather widget, which even has a forecast for the next six days. We've got our suggested workout, a stress tracker, as well as a respiration rate tracker and a calorie tracker. As for last, we have a menstrual tracker and our workout summary for the last week. If you want to, we can even edit this list and add some more widgets or kick some widgets out of the rotation. If you give the lower button a longer press, it takes us right to our music player, with which we can skip a track, go back a track, play and pause and adjust the volume. If we give the upper button a longer press, you get to your quick panel. Over here, we have access to the D&D mode, find my phone, timer, stopwatch and a few more. In order to get to our settings, we have to give the middle button a longer press. And now over here, we can switch watch faces and customize them to an extent. For example, we can switch the displayed battery life to burn calories, mileage or steps. It is really up to you. We can add alarms, check out the workout history and can even go deeper into the settings. Up to the next point, the battery life. And this one is like one of the most important features of any sport or smartwatch. And I've been wearing this watch for about a week now and I have still 40% battery life left. So if the average person is using this sport watch, you probably get like two weeks of battery life out of it. So folks, what do I think about this watch? And if you're someone who loves going for runs, bike tours, or even swimming, then the Garmin 455 might be worth a second look. And I'm not trying to sell you anything right now, 
but if you're looking for a watch with a bunch of fancy features like shake and take photo or fancy watch faces, then you should probably get a smartwatch. This one is solely for sported people who value an accurate health tracking and onboard GPS. Through the suggested workouts, you will definitely get in shape. And if you was going too hard in your last workout, the watch will calculate the amount of hours your body needs for rest until you can go 100% again. So folks, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It only takes two clicks. It's for free and it will help me out a lot. With that being said, see you next time. Peace.